Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, they had another large earthquake or a moderate earthquake, a magnitude 5.8, 18 kilometers south southeast of Lone Pine, California. Uh, 12,022 people so far have reported feeling this earthquake. This is not far from the uh, Coso volcanic field. Not far from Ridgecrest. I'm certainly glad it was a moderate earthquake because it was felt over such a large area all the way up to Salt Lake City, um, up there by Medford, all the way down to the California-Mexico border. Yeah, 5.8. Okay. Uh, Los Angeles, Long Beach, San Diego. And there's the intensity map. I don't know if you can see that. What we got here in orange? Uh, Lone Pine, one person. Ooh. Three people there reported feeling it. Uh, what do we got over here? Las Vegas, three. Another three. Five from Las Vegas, seven. Henderson. Um, hello to my Aunt Nancy, who lives over there. Over she reported it. Two more from Henderson. Uh, Boulder City, one. What else we got here? Let's go over here. Uh, Tulare, one. One. We'll just kind of jump around. Bakersfield, 38. Uh, San, uh, Santa Margarita. We'll go down here by Santa Barbara. Uh, Santa Paula, five. Yeah, um, a 5.8. Rosemead, um, what else we got? 39 from Garden Grove, uh, Beaumont. Now, there's something interesting about this fault zone. This is part of the Owens Lake fault zone. Um, I posted everything that I could find up until about oh, 4 o'clock of all the little aftershocks. There was also um, a 4.6, and you can see them all here. Yeah, look at the line straight through there and the line going up this way. But anyways, the Owens uh, Fault Zone goes all the way up here to Lone Pine. And actually, it's the Owens Valley um, Fault Zone. Got to say it right, right? And then it makes a three-kilometer jog and continues on up to Big Pine Volcanic Field. Going down, this fault zone is broken up. Well, it's probably not broken up into different sections, and it goes all the way down. We gotta go down. Let me zoom out. Might be faster. There's the Coso Volcanic Field uh, near Ridgecrest. Um, the red lines that I have over here is the uplift that occurred um, that was measured from that um, magnitude 7.1 earthquake in 2019. Let me get it here. And, but that's the uplift that they had measured after that earthquake. Okay, it goes all the way down to the Garlic Fault Zone, which goes into the San Andreas Fault Zone, which has got a locked S-bend, as they call it. But that's not the interesting thing that I was going to talk about. What I was going to talk about is the fact that this is part, a junction of the Walker Lane Fault Zone, which I've talked about, how it goes all the way up to the triple uh, junction of Mendocino, uh, the Juan de Fuca Plate. Um, it, it goes all the way up to where we've been having all those earthquakes up there in uh, Nevada by uh, Mono Lake. And I talked about how the continent, um, the North American plate is moving, remember that, just like Yellowstone. And scientists believe that this is an area where pressure develops because of the plate movement of the North American plate and the Pacific plate. In this paper published by USGS.gov, it states, The Owens Valley Fault Zone apparently accommodates some of the relative motion 
dextral shear between the North American and the Pacific plates along a discrete structure. This shear occurs in the Walker Lane belt of strike slip and normal faults within the mainly extensional basin and range province. In the Owens Valley, the displacement is partitioned between the Owens Valley Fault and the nearby subparallel and purely normal range front faults of the Sierra Nevada. And I've talked and talked and talked about as the Earth's magnetic field weakens, um, we're going to see more earthquakes. And when the magnetic pole reversed last time, the continents actually moved. And we are starting to see the beginning effects of this. Now, the last time the magnetic pole reversal or flip, whatever you want to call it, happened, it just didn't happen pop overnight. No, magnetic north and magnetic south bounced around the world like dibbits on a golf ball. Um, originally, they thought that happened for about 2,000 years, but now they believe it was like 20,000 years before north and south south settled to where it is today. And during that time, there was great earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, etc. We have definitely seen an increase in um, earthquakes of late, have we not? And this is just another example of what's happening and a warning of what's to come. Yeah, you better have your hard hat on. <laughs> um, but anyways, I thought you would find that interesting, how it's associated with the movement of the North American plate, just like uh, the hot spot for Yellow Zone, just like the hot spot for um, Mono Lake and uh, the Long Valley Caldera, etc. Because of the tectonic plate movement of the North American plate moving southwest, and we definitely have a lot of strange things going on. Some of the felt reports on EMSE for that 5.8 felted in three rivers. A couple of bumps followed by rolling jolts. Can't find my cat in the house. Wow, that was a long one. Let's see, felt in, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Mild, brief shaking, less than 15 seconds. Now that was 94 kilometers southwest. That would be about 58 miles. Uh, two parts in the Posey-Glenville area. First a gentle roll with some roaring and then a good hard shake with more rolling. Let's see if I can... Oh, here's Ridgecrest. Long shaking, too harsh in Ridgecrest. Uh, more in Ridgecrest. Rolled for a while. Blind shook. Let's see if I can find Los Angeles. Well, here's Porterville. I thought this was interesting. A little rattling. Cat come running into my room and got under the bed. Another report from Porterville. Rock and roll woke me up. My son and I ran for cover. Biggest one in our area that I felt in a long time. Mood my entire bed over with me in it. Ha! Huh. So where's Porterville? Let's bring this out. Okay, right there. We are in Exeter, and we felt this one pretty good. From my location, in relation to the 7.4 downgraded to the 7.1 Ridgecrest, July 4th and 5th, uh, 2019, this was at least two and a half times stronger. Not sure how much closer distance yet. So let's see where their location is. Right there. And we'll bring it out to where the earthquakes occurred. Bring it out, bring it out. Over there. Bodfish, a huge jolt followed by a second milder jolt. And a whole lot of shake in here in Bodfish, California, Kern County. Valicia, California. That was either a big quake or my house is made of sticks. Uh, the animals all ran to hide. So where's Valicia? Let's bring it up. Way over there. Okay, there's Valicia. There's where the earthquake occurred. So that's about 73 miles from where the earthquake occurred. Now this says Valicia, but they're saying they live in Hanford, shaking, computer screen, bouncing. 
felt dizzy, then seen shaking. Another report, not only did the house shake, but I heard this one. We never got it this bad before. Another person said it shook for a good six to ten seconds. Another one, biggest one I've ever experienced in a long time. Nothing fell over, but everything shook. Tulare shook pretty hard, headed for a door frame until it stopped. This one in Tulare said it shook for about 30 seconds. Here in Tulare, they said they felt it laying down. It was bouncing my bed up and down. All right, this report's from Sanger. It says I was in Walmart in Sanger. I got an alert of an earthquake, not to make fun. But I be not even alert from an earthquake, just an amber alert, and it wasn't. Everyone in Walmart got the message. It was very scary what to do if it happens again. Again, good luck, people. Oildale, northeast of Bakersfield. Swaying light fixtures. Waves noted in pool. Another report from Oildale. A pretty good shaker. First, there was a very slight shaking. Then, less than 30 seconds later, much harder and longer. My dogs thought we were under attack. Felt it, a bang, and then a rumble. That was Oildale also. Hanford. Shook slow for a moment, stopped, and shook harder. So, where's Hanford, California? There we go, right there. Bakersfield almost shook me off my chair. Another one from Bakersfield. I didn't almost spill my yak. You know, a lot of people report feeling dizzy before the earthquake. And here's one right there from Bakersfield. Maybe people work the night shift. It says, Bakersfield, California. Woke up to my bed shaking, then felt slight shaking after. Lasted quite a while. Yeah, maybe they worked the graveyard. Another report says I was at Park Beach. The whole beach shook bad. Yeah, you think about the sand turning to quicksand and you're sinking. That would be horrible. Yeah, they have a lot of reports from Bakersfield. Sitting watch TV. Sofa moved side to side quite strong. I was at the gym and the light shook quite a bit. Is that Tia Chappie? I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Felt it good there. So I was wondering where that area was at. Ah, oh, looks like it's down south. Close to the area of uplift. Felt in Pasadena, California. Made a high rise sway. That's before that, another one. And Paradise, light swinging. Another report from Arcadia. They felt dizzy. North Las Vegas, slight rocking. We are wondering if it was a quake, then noticed a push, I guess. Another one, swayed lamp shook the clock. Glendale, mild sway in Glendale. Another report. We, lo we live on the fifth floor. We feel everything. Yeah, typo there. Sherman Oaks, another report from Sherman Oaks. Swaying objects. South Pasadena, the light was shaking. Sunrise Manor, light swinging. Uh, this one didn't feel anything. Didn't feel anything. Uh, San Bernardino, light swayed. Um, Hollywood, Hollywood, California. Slow, subtle swaying here in Hollywood. Hollywood shaking. Sitting outside in the car felt a little shaking. Chandelier and blinds started to move. Henderson, Nevada. Remember, that's where my aunt lives. Hi, Nancy. Uh, felt here in Henderson, Nevada. Slight movement. Here's one from Los Angeles. It was very small and quick. I almost didn't think it was happening because my husband couldn't feel it. But he was standing and walking around. I felt nauseous from the minimal swing. Yeah, I felt sick. Another report from Los Angeles. Yep, 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 yeah. Three, uh, 5.8. Okay. The aftershock of the 4.6, 298 people reported feeling that one. Uh, they have a focal mechanism ball here. Does not look like the fault line moved very much on this one, but on the 5.8, yeah, we got, um, where the fault line 
Yeah, they probably got some um, fault lines that actually fractured the ground. Movement, it went, looks like, uh, towards the northwest. Yeah, the whole fault line moved towards the northwest. First wave of the earthquake supposedly came from the south and tension supposedly was applied going east. Well, that would make sense with uh, the movement of the continent um, with the Pacific plate sliding underneath uh, the North American plate. Yeah, this focal mechanism ball looks more like subduction. So did you feel this earthquake? How long did it last? Um, did you have any damage? Um, what was the reaction? What did it sound like? Which way did it move, etc.? Please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.